there. It's so strong. And well, Mavon, you know what's most amazing to me about those protests? I mean, you're a former mom. Even when they take people like you who, you know, don't need any touching up because you're physically perfect, they still touch you up. And we think it's real. So, and I think it's so dangerous for young girls that are growing and their bodies are changing. And then also we have these young teenage girls that are getting cosmetic surgery. Britney Spears, breast implants. Lindsay Lohan, breast implants. And you know, I really commend Nancy for doing that because you need to get out there. What they're doing with the girls' self esteem that they're having and are actually believing self esteem. I'm glad you said that one is lowering their self esteem. We do have the kids suffering from anorexia that are dying from anorexia that are dying from anemia. And I think that people. Uh, remaining presidential candidates when it comes to the war in Iraq, they're a lot closer to your staff than the case. Yeah, I, I would think that the most directors, I mean, they, they really haven't voted uh, that way. Even Obama has voted to support the war and the spending, uh, and Hillary certainly has. So I, I think their rhetoric is definitely better, and you, you have to give John McCain some credit. I mean, he's honest about it. You know, he's a good saying, we need to be there. We need to take on Iran if we have to, which is scary to me, but at least he's up front. I think the Democrats uh, are playing in some of the sentiments that I get that we ought to, you know, back away from some of these commitments. If you had to pick one of those three right now, who would, would it be? Well, it would be a, it'd be a tough choice because I see them as all about the same, but I would think the one who would uh, most likely keep us from expanding the world is probably, probably Obama. But that doesn't mean that's an endorsement because he's, he's spending money somewhere else and his voting record isn't all that great. But you asked me the question, and I would say he would be slightly better on the foreign policy. So, uh, so as long as McCain, I, I think I've heard you say in the past, supports continuing the war in Iraq, there's no way you could formally endorse him. Is that right? No, I think so. I, I think the, the war, I want people to be talking about monetary policy and fiscal policy and all these things that are, are so important. Uh, I, I, and I also believe in unity in the Republican Party, but unity is secondary to what we believe in. If we unify on something that's non-Republican, it doesn't have a whole lot of meaning, and that's what I'm afraid the Republicans are drifting into. They're begging and pleading for unity, but we've got to know what we believe in, and uh, I think that's where our problem is today. All right, the book, The Revolution, it's a huge bestseller. It's already out, subtitled, a, a Manifesto. I see the word manifesto. And I'm sure a lot of our viewers see that word. It, it reminds them of another book that had that uh, manifesto in the title, The Communist Manifesto. Talk about what the point is of the revolution of manifesto. Well, it's a declaration, but the manifesto has been used in other places uh, less uh, violently signed than the Communist Manifesto. It's, it's just a statement of fact and, and belief, and it's an attention getter. Uh, so this is the purpose, is to get the attention of the American people, what we need to do, what we need to believe in, and actually, it sounds a lot of your main ideas are certainly very popular with your base, and you've got thousands, millions of people out there who love your uh, your ideas, but it has none of them really.